Hey folks, Moose here again. So this video is going to be uh, a Monday meltdown that, uh, as I kind of mentioned in a previous video, um, I'd explain why there was no meltdown last week. Um, if any of you guys have been watching my channel for a while um, and are subscribed to my other channel, the DIY Daddy channel, uh, you know that gardening is a, is a pretty big thing for me in the uh, summer. It's a nice stress reliever. Um, it gives a little bit of, little bit of activity. Um, so I've got a hose line that uh, goes under my sunroom and feeds the spigot for the garden. Well, last winter, apparently there was a bow in the pipe, so when I pushed air through the pipe, some water stayed in there, and not one burst, but two bursts. So when life hands you lemons, you make copper ingots. So what I've done here is I've... Um, I've weighed up, I decided to use these two for my first uh, bull moose bullion bar, which is uh, a mold that I got from 3D Glowlight. Uh, I'll put a link to his uh, website in the uh, description. He, uh, he's in Massachusetts, he does primarily uh, like 3D printed well, night lights basically, uh, but he can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, so make sure you check them out if you want to try this yourself. Uh, I'm going to try this one to see how the lettering goes, and uh, we'll go from there. So, without further ado, I'll put the camera down here so you can see what's going on. All right, and one last thing, I just want to also mention that um, I want to send my, my deepest thanks to uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Hevel, who is a master plumber who came to the rescue to, to fix the pipe for me. Um, so without him, I would have been... You know, a lot more stressed out and not been able to start gardening. So, all right, so what we've got here is we've got our one pound, one ounce of copper. I've got a small crucible. Um, we've got a, uh, a box or it's a flask, I guess you'd call it, uh, half of a cope and drag. Um, we've got my ingot, or my mold, I should say, which I'm going to place in there. I'm going to sprinkle some baby powder on it. That's a release agent. And brush, you want to make sure you get it all over. Wow, that smells. Now, the, um, the 3D print does have um, the lettering in it, so I want to make sure that that doesn't get clogged up with talc. Um, but there's also like fine, fine grooves. <clears throat> now, the, typically people who are doing like you know, jewelry and stuff like that, they would take um, fine sandpaper and get rid of any of that, uh, those lines from the 3D printer. Um, but I'm gonna leave them on there just so that they can you know, hold a little bit of that release agent. <clears throat> All right, and here is the Petro Bond from the last, um, the last, the last one that I did with that sandcastle. All right, so because of the detail on this, I'm going to try and sift some of this onto it first. Oh, it is working. I was concerned the sifter might be too fine, but it's working. So this is to make sure that you know, we get uh, a fine powder into all the little nooks and crannies. Sorry if I'm sniffling. Pollen is crazy right now. Wow, I'm sniffling a lot. All right.
So some of the stuff that burns, once it gets burnt, it's like it dries out and doesn't uh, doesn't stay in there quite as well. So that's why it's often not usable much longer after that. And again, I stress, I am not an expert. I am pretty much learning this as I go. So please bear with me. <coughs> now, flip this over. And the guy who did this was clever enough, you know, he was telling him what I was using it for. And uh, he was clever enough to put little handles inside the mold. So right now I'm tapping it all over to try and help it release a little better. Not bad. Not bad at all. The edges came off a little bit. There we go. Not bad. The lettering looks pretty good. The mousse looks great. So I'm going to stay with that. All right. So now all that's left to do is to prepare the pipe for this. I'm going to bend it and smash it down so it's flat. Solid object will melt faster. All right, so there's my charge. One pound, one ounce of copper ready to get melted. All right, so we'll head out to the forge and uh, make ourselves a little custom ingot. All right, folks, so the first thing we're gonna do, um, trick that uh, big stack decasting. Told me, I taught was the uh, cardboard and the fire brick. That way it doesn't, uh, doesn't stick.
All right, so copper pours or copper melts at about 1,980 degrees. You want to make sure it's a good 100 degrees hotter so that it pours well. Um, yeah, that went pretty darn good, I must say. So we'll let it cool off a little bit, and we'll pull it out, punch it, and see how well the uh, the printing came out on it. All right, folks, so that's another Monday Meltdown video for you. Um, I am very happy with the way this came out. The, uh, the lettering is legible. Um, I just need to figure out how to uh, make it pop out better. Maybe need to be more careful with the baby powder or, or, or the release agent um, or the pouring. I, I don't know. I know that uh, for a second there, when I was uh, flattening the pieces of copper pipe, I left the... The sand mold on the bench and it started to vibrate a lot and little some little chunks were falling out but uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm very happy with that in the back is a little cool i don't know if those bubbles were like gas bubbles from the sand coming up or something but i made sure to do you know one pound one ounce that way you know if i need to i can sand down the back of this a little bit um, and also, if I wanted that to be smoother, um, I could have done a cope and drag instead of just you know that, that one-sided flask. That way, this side would have been flat sand, um, and it would have just kept the, kept everything in place. But yep, I'm happy with it. So there you go. All right, folks. Well, that's it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell, do all that stuff, and make sure you. Keep watching because, as I mentioned in a video that I think I'm posting tonight, which is Sunday, um, I'm going to be giving away Devil Forge. And no, I, they're, they're, they're not sponsoring me at all. This is, I'm basically going to take um, my November or December paycheck from YouTube and buy Devil Forge for one lucky watcher. So again, you have to be subscribed, um, and I'll figure out you know the details later. But keep on watching. See you on the next one.